When Bach died, the manuscript of the Art of Fugue was left in an unfinished form. But although it leaves us guessing what its final conclusion would have been, it is difficult not to see the work as a last summation of Bach's art. As a result, performers perhaps approach the Art of Fugue with thoughts towards both Bach's position in musical history and also their own artistic legacy. Any interpretation of Bach is a mixture of a personal performance style with the ever-growing but firmly established tradition of performance practice. And finding this ever-changing balance between personal and historical can involve discovering resonances in unexpected places. In college I had learned to play jazz piano and I, in listening to a lot of uh, jazz pianists, uh, realized uh, then later that the kind of touch that's used in jazz is a very articulate touch that uh, is essentially this ordinary touch that, that uh, the Baroque mu keyboard musicians, and not just a keyboard, but the uh, violinists and wind players and so on used. And um, I realized too that jazz has its roots in African music, which is very connected to the dance, to bodily movement, and Baroque music is very connected to the dance and to bodily movement. And so this type of articulate, but not detached, touch uh, gives rhythmic life to the music. It animates it in a way that uh, certainly is helpful with dance rhythms.